what have you learned or what, what have I, or what have we learned from being in a relationship? So in today's podcast, Sissy and I are going to talk about some of the things that we've learned since we've been married and obviously that's kept our marriage going. That's right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey, Mr. Friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Bizology Podcast. I am your host, Cece, and I'm joined by my husband. Hey, right, this is Will, and welcome back to another episode of the Bizology Podcast. If this is your first time with us, please remember to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you can be notified when we put out these videos. Now, this is a weekly podcast where we talk about life, love, family, relationships, Whatever else is going on, we're going to talk about it. So welcome. As you know, before we go into the topic of the day, we like to go into our blissful moment. So, babe, what is your blissful moment? I got this thing. I got it a couple of hours ago. My wrist has been hurting and it's not hurting anymore. Okay. So, uh, yes, I've been complaining all week <laughs> that and. I wasn't being a child, but it was. Yes, you were. And it's still hurting. Yes, I don't you were know being where a baby. I I'm, not, I'm, I'm hoping that I didn't hurt it. My employee says it's it's old age. <laughs> you had this for a long time, though. <laughs> yeah, but it seems like it, it, it gotten a little bit more intense in the last week or so. Because you've been never, using your these hands. You've been working. You know what? That's probably why. You've been working on your project, so therefore you put more pressure, and then of oh. course it's gonna hurt more. You know what? Ding, but ding, I'm, ding. I'm glad I have this. <laughs> you know, this came in. It's it's simple, but it seems effective so far. I've been wearing it for the last two hours, and I can I can lift things now. Okay. Yeah. So listen, this man is such a baby. Yesterday I was actually, I don't know what we were doing, and then. No, we were laying down in bed. Yeah, you tapped on And the then hand. I turned. He's like, ow, ow, ow. I'm like, babe, seriously? It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. The fact that he's like, ow, ow, ow. And I'm like, you got to. She rolled on my wrist. I'm like, man up. Man up. Okay. It has nothing to do with manning up. It has everything to do with. I is, is, feel is like it? when it comes to you guys, when you are not feeling well or when you have some kind of minor painful um minor whatever going on minor pain going on you make it seems like as if it's the end of the world i, I have no idea what she's talking about you my dad my brother very similar i still don't know what she's talking i think it's a main about. thing y'all just like a baby when y'all sick or when there's something i still don't understand not functioning what she's well. saying because that's not me <laughs> Listen, if something hurt, I should say it hurts. I say it hurts for a reason. If it hurts, just suck it up and then let the pain I've been be. sucking it up. <laughs> let the pain be, you know. Relax. <laughs> anyway, so I'm good now. This is this is my stuff. I mean, well, let's see how long you're going to be good for. Because well, I, I got my dad one similar to this. And he said it works fine for his knee. and um, But the, the, the materials actually start, you know. But he wears it to go to work, right? He wears it, yeah, yes, so it's, every day. It's and you may have to. You nah, may have to. I think I'm only wearing this. Because obviously it gives it some support. So my, my wrist does not travel. That's Because it, it keeps it straight, which is good. Hey. <laughs> 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 but hey, it's, it's, it's my blissful moment. Okay. I can, I can sit in. I can do things. I can lift things up. Okay. So no, you're just, grateful. Just lifting, just lifting my bottle like this was um mm. was difficult to do wow because what it does when you're lifting this part of your wrist has to move and this is what a pen is so now mm -hmm. i can i can do this i can drink water it's a good thing you can still drink water go in the fridge and get a bottle of water okay this is how i was <laughs> drinking this is how i was drinking I would, oh boy would guys hold, he's going to demonstrate for y'all okay the other hand <laughs> lift it up now I don't have that. I can He's go like this. Demonstrate See? or go get a go get a bottle of water from the fridge. That's very light. You know, you don't have to no, do I, so I much like, effort. I like, I like my big bottle. Makes you feel more like a man, huh? Yeah, yeah. I can't be drinking like this. You okay. Know? Anyway, so that's okay. my best moment. So much. What's yours? 
Um, mine is just that looking forward to Easter, which is next weekend. Um, although, you know, it's are the, we gathering at your parents? House? Probably. My mom says she's not sure yet, so I'm sure we are. I feel like the there's the always a, there week, was always a back and forth every Easter. Who's, there's always a and then who's not and then last minute. Oh yeah, we are going there. <laughs> But you know how it is when it comes to Easter. We all go to my parents. We all go there. You, we don't come to my house or we don't go to the uh, my sister-in-law's house. We go to the mom's house, the grandma's house, right? That's what that's what you got to do. Is you that go- the law or something? It's more it's more I don't know. I don't want to do it at my house, to be honest. <laughs> it, to me, it feels more homey. Like, you know, you're at your mom's house. You know, you're eating and laying down and well, watching TV. I don't TV. have to do any cleaning. You don't have to do any cleaning. But, yeah. but we do. Me and my mother and, 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 and my sister-in-law, we do do some cleaning. Oh, yeah. I just don't have to do any cleaning and I'm good. Yeah, but I feel like it went, it, to me, April started last week. And then already we like tomorrow... Next week is Easter. That went by so fast, y'all. So fast. But I'm looking forward to Easter. Um, You know, it's just, it's always fun. It's always fun with the kids, you know, with Easter Bunny and then the eggs and all that. You know, it's cool. My nephews and my daughters, they just love playing this whole, y'all know what I'm talking about. The the eggs, you go hide the eggs and you got to go find them and all that. So, it's cool. I love it. It's it's something that I look forward to. I never played that when I was little, so I don't know how fun <laughs> that is. I'm sure y'all know how it is. It's fun. It's cool. But um, we'll talk more about Easter next week. So let's get into the topic of the day, babe. What, what, what are we talking about what today? Have, what have you learned since being married to me? <sighs> been married to you for how long has it been? Uh, 12, 12 years. Yeah. 12 years. Lots of lessons. Together, 17 years. 17 mm. years. Well, it, it's been that long? Well, you 2005. Know, it's, it's been a walk in the park. It's Listen. <laughs> well, you know, it seems seems too simple that time, right? It's too simple? Yeah. Speak for yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, but to some people, it may seem that way. It seems simple. They don't know what's going on, on the inside, right? <laughs> they see all the good, all the, you know, all, all all the good stuff. But then at home, there may be some stuff going on. But let's be honest. The first thing you want to know is, to me, you got to marry the one you love, the right one. There's no Mr. Perfect. There's no Mrs. Perfect. You got to know that you marry the one that you love. Right. Sometimes, how do you know the one? You just listen. You you have to go out on faith sometime, because I'll tell you the person that she is right now is very different than the person she was mm-hmm. seventeen years ago. You said seventeen years ago. I just love when he's confirming <laughs> with me. Like, has it been fifteen? Yeah, is it the 17? person that I am right now? is most likely very different than the person that I was 17 years ago. But when you marry someone, you marry that person to grow with them as well, right? Yes. So sometimes you take a leap of faith. I'm hoping <laughs> it work out. this person would be. <laughs> but, but there's certain things that are certain. Yes, yes. That is how much am I willing to put in this relationship and know that it is for a lifetime. Yes, absolutely. I definitely yeah. agree. So marriage is a lifelong commitment, but mm-hmm. expect it to change. Things are not going to stay yes. the way that they were. They're not. I have gray beard now. Listen. I was a little youngster when I married her. <laughs> and now I'm old. <laughs> you are old now. You yeah. do have a lot of grays. But yeah, it is so true. You got to know the person before you really get involved, right? Like. So if you have skeletons in your closet, yes, bring them out, out, put them out in the open and says, look what I have. But here's the thing with us. What I've learned for that, for what, 15 years, no, 12 years marriage, 15 years together is that. I thought you said 17. 17 years together, my bad, 2005 and 2022. That's 17, isn't it? Uh, Don't ask me. (laughs) Today is not my adding day. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But is that, you know, before we got together, we were dating for like a good four years, you know, and we did a lot of. That was too long. I know. Actually, no, 
you weren't ready. You feel like to me, it was more like, okay, let's shoot for five years, six years, seven years. My husband at the time was more like, um, you know. To be honest, I was looking for a way to run. He was like, <laughs> every time, because y'all know it is when you're dating someone, you know, like three, four years, and you're like, okay, now you feel like, okay, it's been a good three, four years. In what the, are you waiting for? What, what's, the, what's the hold up? You know? It's not time yet. Are we wasting time? No. You, do you need to let me know? Because I got to know whether if we are sticking to it or not. So therefore, every time I ask him, he'll tell me soon. And my husband soon could be a year or two or five years later. <laughs> His soon is not next month. Because, you know, you, you girls got to know when the next thing is. So the good thing about us is that we did it for four years. And then, you know, we actually learned a lot from each other. And I learned so much before we got married in our relationship. Like this man, boy. I was good. Still am good. Bad. No, no, come on. But but it's good to learn. It's it's good to learn. And and obviously there's a lot of traits you'll pick up during the dating process that would make you realize, you know, I, I could see myself living with this person. Mm -hmm. I should didn't know I snore. And I still don't snore. Yes, you so. do. Yes, you do. Though, yes, you do. Yeah, yes, but here's a few things I think that that's important. Is um, what have you learned? Well, I've, I've learned that it's, it's good to work together. Okay, it's good to be a team, especially yes. when you have kids. Yes, <laughs> right. But it's good to be a team when when, when you work together. Um, you can get more done mm -hmm. as opposed to me trying to compete with you. Right. Right. Or it's try. <laughs> well <laughs> don't make it a competition right <laughs> but but it, it doesn't make sense for me to try to always trying to be better than you are mm -hmm. or trying to do things to make you feel less than i am yes so it, it's good to put our energy together put our resources together and move forward because if you do well i do well mm -hmm. if i do well you do well so your success is my success her success is my success. <laughs> my success is my success. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, but yeah. I definitely agree. Like, we do so great together when it comes to work as a team. And there's a lot of yeah. things that, you know, we may go hard on each other. Like, I'm hey, very listen, strong disclaimer. when it comes to. Full disclaimer. Sometimes, you know, spouse is going to say things that disagreed with. And sometimes... You're gonna say I be listen. With. I disagree on a whole lot of stuff with my husband, and we have learned to just like find a way to make it work, right? Oh, yes. And disagreement has to happen because if again, I think I may have said that in some podcast before that if we if we never disagree with each other, someone's lying to yes. each other. Yes, yes, someone's so, lying. So it, it's good to disagree because that allows you to have really in depth mm. conversation about different issues and different things that are important in the relationship right. and together you, you you'll find ways to make it work yes yes and keep things between you that's a great thing um in our marriage we don't really go outside of our marriage to talk to even yeah. our parents if we're dealing with issues in our marriage we're more like so final way we pray we talk and 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 i'm very like Sometimes it can be hard for me to let go. Like, I remember what you did. I forgive you, but I didn't forget what you did. <laughs> right? Like, we talk about it, and then we we don't really approach siblings or parents yeah. or friends, family, or whatever to discuss our issues. We keep whatever that we do, what we're dealing with. In our marriage. And I think that's been working for us so far. Yes. Unless and, and if you do something stupid, then, you know, we got to bring the fam the parents in. I'm not a stupid <laughs> man, so I will never do anything stupid. No, that's true. Yeah. But, but and there's a lot of advantages in keeping things together. Because, listen, mm. there's people that you bring things up. They will have opinions. Yeah. And if they're your friends, obviously, they're going to support you. And they will help you magnify how bad the other person mm -hmm. <laughs> is. Friends, so when you keep it member. within you, and yes, if something happens and I go tell my people, depends on what it is. I know there's certain things they'll send me right back and says, go take care of that stuff. 
Because yeah. our parents don't understand, but there's people you bring things to. Yes, they'll 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 sympathize with you and they'll help you see how bad your husband they'll even they'll even make some recommendations, you know, kick his ass to <laughs> the curb. Yeah. But when you keep things within you, you find ways. Because mm-hmm. when your commitment is to be with each other for the long term, not for five years and then <laughs> you get a new one. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's for a long term. So you got to learn to find ways. And mm-hmm. that's it. The, the more you can sit down and have this discussion, whether you like it or not, that helps you figure out things. Yes. And here's the thing, guys. There's a reason why we keep our own issues until, like, you know, in home, <laughs> right? It's because you go, you go and tell a friend or a family member about your business. Before you know it, now your business is out there. <laughs> now the whole this. church know what's going on. <laughs> Now the whole choir is singing about your business, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then you, you, you just like, damn, man, I wish I didn't say anything to anyone. Not that we, you know, because you don't know who's going to say what to who. It could be um, something. Listen, people talk <laughs> and, and I've heard people talk before, you know, the pastor's preaching about it. Well, yes, <laughs> if it, if it. If it's a if it's an issue that's worth, you know, that will catch people's attention, yes. Yeah, you know what? One thing I realized though, when the pastor is preaching or the priest is preaching, and they're preaching about a certain a certain type of relationship, they know something is going to. <laughs> no name, there, there, there are no names on it. There's no name, but so they're they protecting pre- the innocent. Well, True. I don't think they're quite innocent, but. <laughs> <laughs> the whatever the victim well they have an obligation as imagine we had something going on and we go tell the pastor and or the priest and the next thing you know it's thought well he wouldn't preach about you he'll preach about something that happened yeah before. like years ago before yeah. you and then you're like in the you know you're in Why the church you, like you so feel like this, this is very similar like... to my own issue <laughs> babe your name's not on it no but you can feel you but then you feel uncomfortable you're like this is right should you because that, then you know it's your story. It may not be your name is on the story, but you know that he's preaching well, about what you said. Preach, if you don't want him or her preach about your story, then don't bring it up. I was supposed to confess <laughs> to the priest, like to tell them what's going on. Yeah, that's a choice. You can choose to go confess, or you can choose to work out your issues. <laughs> Therapists don't preach, so they won't get on the pulpit and. Stop preaching about your Even issues. Even sometimes, so. listen, we said we need to see a therapist. And sometimes you may feel uncomfortable sharing some stuff that you have going on in your marriage with a therapist. But it's always good to see a professional, right? Oh, yes. And just and, and the thing is, I want to say one thing we do in our in our marriage that we don't lie to each other. Not that I know of. How do you know I don't lie to you? Have you lied to me before? I may have. I can't remember. We have a problem. Because I don't think I have. I may lie about certain things. Like when I go to the store, if I don't want him to see that I got a pair of shoes, <laughs> then I hide a pair of shoes somewhere. I'm sure we all we all have done it. We all I've have done it. hidden anything. See, I, I believe in this. It's a lot easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. Now, be very cautious because that can blow up in your face. <laughs> I don't do that. But if I were to want to do something, I'll probably do it in a way that... I will ask for forgiveness without asking for permission. No, I don't know if I would forgive you. <laughs> Eventually you saying. would. But but it's not good to like cuz if if you have to revert to lying in your relationship then you you have you have more problems than just the lie. You always say that. You know? So You always say you got to cover for Well, yes, if you lie once, you can have to remember that lie so you can lie more to cover that lie. You know, if it if it's a stranger you meet once, you won't meet them maybe ever <laughs> again. Then yes, lie lie off. <laughs> but, it's, but if someone you live with, you lie, you will see this person every day. So you got to keep that lie going for most likely the rest of your life until yes. you decided to come clean, right? So don't lie. And then when you come clean, this may be a blow up. Yeah. Where you like? Of course, it's gonna blow up. You come clean ten years later. <laughs> All that lie you've get because you yeah. lied, you don't only lie once. Yeah, you lied for ten years. True. So yeah, you're don't right. lie. If you have yeah. to revert to lying, then it, you have issues. Now, if something happened and it's bad, you feel like there's going to be repercussions. I guarantee you, the repercussion you get 
now will mm. be a lot easier than the one you get 10 years down the true, road. True. So deal with it now and, and be done. And if you say you love your man and you love your woman and you're looking to live with them for the rest of your life, you shouldn't have to lie. Mm. And if you realize you lie, turn right around and says, listen, I am sorry I lied. This is the real truth. If you're gonna, if we're gonna fight, let's fight and we <laughs> we move on. <laughs> if we're gonna fight, let's fight. Yeah, fight. Let's be, fight so I can get over it. It's me. not easy for us women to just like fight and get over it. It may be easy for you, but if for me, it's gonna be like, okay, what else have you lied about? You know, that's it's why be, I would, with the moment that the opportunity comes for the oh, first the lie, I will, I, will, I will come around and clear that lie, and I'll, I'll tell you I never lied. This was the one lie, and I came clean. Now this is going to be an issue because now, it'll be I'm a lot not worse going if you to let them find out that you're lying without you coming clean. See, if you come clean, at least it shows you have a conscience, and you, it's just not you. You couldn't live with it, so so you had to. That makes it seems like, you know what, this was the first time this guy's never lied before and now he just <laughs> lied, he can't live with it. But if you let them find out, whoo, they're going to start questioning everything you've ever done. Well, yeah, of course. Of course. What else have you lied about? What else? What, what, what have you been doing? Are you like really you? Like, are you, is your name really? <laughs> <laughs> is your name really what you say it is? So there's going to be a lot of um, trust issues. In yeah. that relationship, for real, seriously, <laughs> you're bound to yes. So don't lie. And you know, there's one thing that I, I but you I, do lie about when you surprise me with some stuff. That's not a lie. That's a surprise. Those are, those are two different things. Don't confuse a surprise with a lie. Do you consider my lie when I said I'm going to the mall and get a one thing, and then I come home with so many? No, things? No, I consider that woman issues. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't want him to ask me why am I buying more shoes. This was way before, but I don't do that no She's more. She's grown now. She knows, she knows better. I don't do that no more. Y'all see me. I wear sweatpants. <laughs> and, and this is what happened when you become a business owner. You wear sweats all the time, all day, every day. Now, I don't be... You know, I don't, I don't, I don't go to the mall and buy shoes and stuff that I don't need anymore. She, I see she, why. She has a different relationship with money. She I understands do. money I better. Do. And... You know, she's grown. Not that I not that I used to, you know, blow up money like like and red bottom or craziness like that. I was this never woman that type of girl. Still have a shelf with several purses that she does not even take out anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not true. That's a false statement. I wish I could sell those <laughs> things and get my money back. <laughs> <laughs> They may become antique. In that case, I may be able to sell them. Yeah, but good thing the bags that they came, they come with protective bags that now nah, they, they're wrapped up in the bag. So I know that they're not, there's they're no dust in them and there shouldn't be anything that could potentially damage them. So they should be in good shape. So who knows? I may be able to sell them. The fact that you said money. and get your money back is just so messed up. That's just like so wrong. Listen, so wrong. Why would you think it's your, it was your money? I know you bought it, but listen, we should we buy something. Married, when we get married, your money becomes my money. No, but what I'm trying to say is, yes, you did bought them. Yeah, but when, what I'm trying to say is, when the moment that she purchased something for me, it becomes mine. So if I need to do something about it, then the money should come back to me. Cash. I don't know about that. It should come back <laughs> to me. But then you could never go wrong having too many purses, right? Because you don't know. I don't, I don't. I'm not too crazy about shoes. But purses, yes, girl. Okay. Yes. And I'm glad she's learned. <laughs> we have not bought a purse in two years, actually. No, we got one last year. Well, it it doesn't happen as often as it used to, so so which is a good well, thing. Well, because I'm not out there working for a company. The moment that I start doing that again, <laughs> if I start doing that again, then we may have to go back to the same process. Yeah, so much for lying. Here's the thing. Don't <laughs> lie to your spouse. <laughs> Just come clean. If you get a purse, hopefully it's not a, like a three grand purse. If you get that, I'm going to tell you to take it back. Which, you Okay, know. whose money? You, use, <laughs> you taking it back? It's the Amex money, okay? It's not mine. Does it? I don't care whose money you, use. <laughs> you show up here with a purse of three grand. I don't care if you told me. I don't, I don't care if you come clean. You taking it back. What if it's my birthday? I want to. I want to get something for myself, and I got a three grand. Uh, you know. We're still taking it back. I got, you know, I got me a purse that's cost three thousand, four thousand dollars. I'm going to drive see. you back. But it's my birthday. It's my money. It's what I work for. I work hard for hey, it. Listen, I this, wanted this. That's the thing I learned also in a marriage. 
when you're married, there's no such thing as my money and your money and his money. It's our money. And two, three grand on the purse of our money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. But I think it's ridiculous spending three grand on a purse. But yes, there are people that spend that kind of money on There's stuff. people that spend 10 grand on a purse. And if it makes sense. Actually, I don't see how this ever makes sense, but <laughs> we'll live this. Just don't lie to your spouse. <laughs> uh, let's switch gear for a moment. Um, another thing that I've learned is, and, and it's it's been one of those common advice that are given to anyone before you get married is don't ever go to sleep upset. What? I think I've even said it to some people that I've gone to their weddings is don't ever get. <laughs> but then I realized that. Shoot, if you're upset, sometimes it's usually over nothing. And if you're a little bit not normal, sleep on it. Because many times, once you sleep on stuff, you become... That's me. You come to your senses. Because sometimes there's like idiotic things that you'd find you arguing about and you get a good night's sleep. And maybe you do a little something before you go to sleep. If you're up for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you wake up the next day. Now, at least for me, I wake up the next day. I'm good. In fact, even before I go to sleep, I'm like, okay. Yeah, this is, this is where we, this is where we not the same at all in this category where I do go to sleep upset. Like well, sometimes she goes to sleep I, upset. She wakes up upset. <laughs> she goes to the shower upset. She get the kids together upset. She'll spend the day upset and she'll go to sleep again upset. But she's it, got room. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. But here's there's a reason why. There's a reason when you she's got issues. No, I don't. Yeah, but I do have my reason, right? I do have my reason. I don't want to go too much in detail because you know you said a whole lot. So therefore, I do have my reason. But there's time where I'm upset at you, not at the girls. Nonsense. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, yes, I would, I would go to bed upset and, and, and wake up the next day still upset about what happened the day before and get the kids ready. And, and, and he'll say good morning to me. And I'm like, good morning. You know, not happy, still upset. I want you to know that I'm still mad. Oh, like, it, it, here's the have, thing. We have feeling. I this want you to know. This does nothing to me. I still eat. Yes, I still, still go do. to work. I still do the normal things that I do. But I don't because I'm the one that's upset. So <laughs> therefore, I may have a day where I don't eat and I, my mood is just like whack. You I, talk about whack. My mood is just like not in a mood. He's not home. The weird thing about it, he's not home that for me to get upset at him while he's home. But I'm still upset at what he did. See, this is it. Nonsense. <laughs> How do you get upset? Because typically you get upset so you can make the person feel that I'm upset. Well, yeah. But the person is still doing the thing. Then he never, nobody does but I want you to feel bad for me. I, I don't that feel I'm... bad for you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> if I did something, I apologize and I came clean, whatever it may be. My husband is... This is me releasing, and you know, and obviously I'll... I'll apologize and it's sincere, but I move on. So if you stay upset, my husband don't is think so that I'm careless. feeling bad. No, You're it, so it, careless. You listen, are. You someone who have no emotions. I do have emotions. And someone lost the loved ones. I will empathize with you and, and 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 I will do what I can to help you grieve. I believe grief is a is a valid valid um, reason to feel sad. <laughs> But if he had an argument or something and we came clean, whatever it was, we've we've either resolved it or if I screwed up on something, I own up to it. I took responsibility for it and I give you my words. I won't do it. But that's me. That's me relieving myself. OK, from but doesn't guilt. mean because you apologize that I'm going to be like, OK, fine. Let's oh, move I, on. I'm not saying no, you should, you here's should the be thing. happy. He I'm just knows telling me you that I'm, I'm not. The, the thing that you've learned. Is that when I'm upset, you get me flowers, you get me chocolate, you do something special for me, you take me out. That sometimes will get the mood back together. It will change my mood. Because here's the reason why. He's trying, right? There's when you say the words, the words may not be enough for me. And then when you do the actions behind the words, then I'm like, you know what? All right, Sissy, it's time to let go. He's trying. He's trying Nonsense. to really... <laughs> There's some valid reasons on this. Yes, 
Women are emotional, more emotional than than, than well, some yeah, of us. Of course, yeah, some of us are the, emotional, but not yeah, not to that men. point. But uh, but yes, if you screwed up on something, you can do something to make your wife feel better. But that doesn't mean I feel bad. <laughs> That doesn't mean you feel bad, but, but I'll do yet, that you feel better. Why? Because I'm still upset at it, and that's what you've done in the past. You yeah. actually would find a way to bring me back to because you love seeing me happy. Yeah. When I'm upset about something, it actually there's time where you actually feel a certain way. Like you know, our mood is really low energy when I'm upset. Our mood is like I don't want to talk to you. Don't bother me. Leave me alone. I just don't want to deal with you because of whatever that you did. That's just my mood. And the fact that I'm like that in his mood get very well, like, wacky. It, you know, <laughs> it's it, it, if if you in a, if if you kind of like standoffish, I do things that does not involve like sitting and talking. Yes, I talk to you. Your 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 responses are quite short. If I don't talk to you, not because I'm upset as well. And here's Just the that thing. I'm doing other things. So, yes. And I do get it. And I know that he is very like, he's like, all right. Her energy is really getting <laughs> getting on my nerve. I need to, I feel like that's what he do. That's what he does to make me feel back to being happy again. He's probably like, okay, her energy is really getting <laughs> getting on my nerve let me do something to make her happy or let me do something to bring the energy back again and that sometimes that happened and i really want him to feel like i don't want you just do it for the sake of doing it to make me feel happy i want you to do it because you feel what you did was wrong or you feel like you know i just want my wife to be happy again i know sometimes he does tell me that so for people like this let me say this (laughs) It's good to advise him not to go to sleep upset because a good night's sleep doesn't help. <laughs> but for many normal people, like normal people. What are you trying to say? I'm not normal? It, it's okay to go to sleep a little upset because believe think me. my husband is telling me not normal. You would. Oh, I'm normal. I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not normal. Okay. <laughs> but it, it's, it's okay. If you go to sleep upset, it's not the end of the world. And if you go to sleep three nights upset. It's still not the end of the world. I've done a week. Obviously, we're still together because I know that's how she is. But, but I don't do that no more. I don't do that no more because I've seen what it does to our marriage, to our relationship. I don't do it no more. We talk. I'm upset. <laughs> I get over it right away. You know, I feel like I'm grown now. You know, that's what happened when you're grown. You, 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 you talk. You don't have time to waste on all that. <laughs> he should have done better. Well, yeah. That I was want, like I want, early I him, on in our marriage. I to feel what they don't realize. I feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I eat. I sleep. If I have a project to work on, I still work on it. I go to, I go to work and <laughs> it's a normal day. I come home and she cooks. So the food is there, or if they weren't food, she still get food. So she makes sure I'm fed. So but, and even if she thi- didn't make sure I'm fed, I will still find something to eat. Yes, but the thing is, sometimes it's not that I'm mad at you; uh, it's that I'm mad at what you did. I still want to get you your your dinner, or whatever, get you ready for work and all that. But then, yet it's like, okay, I want you to feel that. And then, yes, there's time where you do things that make me bring me back together, which is like the romance part. Yeah. And and (laughs) believe me, listen, learn what your spouse like in the bed, which means sometimes they could be upset. If you position yourself in the right way, you can help them not go to sleep upset. But you got to position yourself in the right way and you got to make sure you know what to do. Now you can. Okay, player. So, that's no player. I only hang out with my wife. (laughs) So, So, you know, the intimate part is important because sometimes that that could be the solution. You know, people get stressed out, especially ladies get stressed Hmm. out. Sometimes and sometimes we're living a little bit of that stress can help them feel better before they go to sleep so if you can help them relieve that and sometimes we can get stressed out and helping us relieve that stress well i barely get stressed out or sometimes i deny it you (laughs) deny it all the time but do that because that 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 can help release the tension Mm -hmm. between you yes you can 
you can caress your wife's body the right way and she'll give in. You can do other things that you know she prefers or he prefers. And things may get better from <laughs> there. So, but, 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 but do, do what you can to help your partner. Mm-hmm. You know, even if you don't feel, even if you're getting upset because they want to make sure that you feel, you feel that. Even if you don't feel it. But understand that they're upset. And they're upset for a reason. So if mm. you screwed up. Understand that you screwed up. You ain't getting none. And some people <laughs> will will get over it very quickly. Others will take them a little bit of time. But if you can help them get over it mm-hmm. by any means necessary, and I don't force them, don't threaten them, because that just makes it worse. But if you can put yourself in a position to be maybe very romantic, do mm-hmm. some things you don't normally do. do something some that candles. will help. I don't know about candles. You may burn that in the place. So be <laughs> careful when it comes to lighting candles in your house. <laughs> you should get the right ground. You should be able to do that without Listen, setting the house on fire. Again, fire hazard. I'm not recommending anyone just go and do things without knowing what you do. He's but yes, you can do that. You know, some can, something you don't normally do. And if that leads to good sex, that's great. We both feel better, satisfied, mm-hmm. and it's healthy also. It so, is healthy. It keeps so, it, yes, it keeps and, the relationship. and it helps your sleep. Yes. sleep. It helps your day. It helps your body. So that's good. And I understand that this is this is mm-hmm. very important in our marriage. And, and it's something that we should do. We must do all the time. I don't know Especially about, when we're upset. Because the I makeup don't know one about is, all the time. is very good. Okay. Speak for yourself. I don't know about that all the time. <laughs> but I know before you before we um talk about that part, the sex part, but you one thing I've, I I forgot to mention is that we don't use profanity words towards each other, right? And I yes, know something yes, that yes. can really mess up marriage where you call your wife name out or you call your husband um out of different name, you this, you that. We have never ever yeah, and you know, you, you can disagree. Call with out spouse. each other. You yes. can disagree, but that doesn't mean you have to get to be disrespectful. Because, mm-hmm. yes, she I may hate what she did, but it doesn't mean I don't love her. Mm-hmm. And and when you say you love someone, there are certain things that are off limit. Yeah, I, I wouldn't yeah. call her name because at the end, she's still my woman. And believe me, guys, if oh, that's boy. the girl that cooks for you... <laughs> You need to respect her. Cook for you, <laughs> clean for you, take care of your kids. Listen, if someone, d- if you live with someone and you intend to live with this person for however length of time, you got to respect this person. Mm-hmm. If this person I goes agree. crazy on you, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> your food, we, don't re- we cook, you better watch it. Yeah, but, but, you know, when you say you love someone, there are certain things you should, there's certain ways you shouldn't speak to this, but that mm-hmm. doesn't mean you're not going to disagree, you're not going to get upset, you would. But have a fair argument. Yes. Right? Yes. There are some people that are good at bringing up things that happened 10 years ago just so they can put themselves in the position to win the argument. No, let it go. Yes. If it's something that happened, even happened a week ago, and you've resolved it, leave that out of any yeah. present discussion or arguments you're having. Yeah, that's... Some, Be fair. Yes. You know? That's something that we There's don't do. Some people do. that will hold something over your head for years. Yeah, no, Whenever I don't you do, do something, that. they bring it up. No, you don't. But but there are people that would. Well, at one point, you were good at bringing stuff. I was really good at bringing stuff. Remember what you did last month? <laughs> I know. I was really good at bringing up stuff. But then, yes, we do make up sex for the fights and... We learn to fight fairly. We learn mm. to like, you know, stick to the issues and address anything that needs to be addressed. Yes. And this is where the growth part is important. Because Sometimes when, it's hard, but yes. And life is, is hard. But the growth part of your relationship is very important, which means you learn to grow with each other. You learn to grow beyond this petty stuff. Mm. There's a lot of petty things that people that lives together can find to argue about. True. But, 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 but as you grow, as your relationship evolves, as your relationship gets more mature, you learn to not let these yes. things weigh so much Yes. on your days, your mm. nights, your romantic moments. Yes, <laughs> it's so true. It is so true. But yeah, yeah. We, we don't fight. Well, we, do, we don't fist fight, right? 
that's something we don't do in our in our relationship. We don't fist fight. We don't like use certain words <laughs> towards each other. We don't do that. And then we the reason why we don't do that because we didn't see our parents doing that. You know, we both grew up from our parents still together um, by the grace of God, 40 plus years, you know. Um, and I think sometimes that's what's really get marriage going where you respect your husband, you respect your wife. We don't like call each other names. We don't put you out there on the street. Like, you know, we just find a way to really work our stuff the way we should as grown yeah. people. You know, that's relationship. You're constantly working at it constantly. Listen, guys, it's been 12 years marriage for us and 17 years together. And it's still a long way to go. Oh, we yes. still have. Let me rephrase this. We still have a long way to go. Okay. This is our, just our, our, our moment. We wanted to share this with y'all. Right. Yeah. But there's, there's, there's plenty other ones that we definitely going to bring back next time. <laughs> Don't forget the toilet. Okay. When this man goes <laughs> to the bathroom <laughs> and there's a whole lot of, there's a list of things and I'm sure you have a list of things for me too, but there's a list of things. Yes, that. but anyway, we'll keep it here. So this is our podcast on <laughs> what we've learned about each other in this relationship and, and what we've done to make sure that we mm. continue to live with each other. Cause yes, I'm not going anywhere. And this woman is not going anywhere. Well, until God decided to take us, but he told me that he, he doesn't need us yet. So we're going to stick Amen. around on this dry planet for a yes. while yes <laughs> so yes. so thank you for listening everybody we appreciate you please remember to like share subscribe leave some comments click on the bell notification so you can be notified when we put out these videos <laughs> and remember to check Your us out on beard. the audio channels spotify soundcloud tune in radio apple Podcasts, and iheart radio so we appreciate you guys again this is your first time with us please remember to subscribe and please remember to like share and comment in comments yes she loves those stuff yes so guys again thank you very much and until next time peace